Hi, everyone. Thank you all so much for being patient. We had an unexpected little uh, phone call that took a little bit longer. Thank you for being patient. Um, hi, how are you all? It's gonna be a fun day. Sorry I have no makeup on today. I had a facial this morning and didn't want to put makeup on over no, my no facial. No one should have to do that. Yes. So. Absolutely, you are stunning without makeup. You are just so sweet, Rachel. You are so sweet. Anna's <laughs> probably rolling her eyes Not over there. Not just loving that dewy glow. The dewy glow, am I super shiny? <laughs> no. I had a no, micro. The dewy glow. <laughs> I had a micro, so. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Wayne got me a gift card. I think it was for it was for our anniversary last March, and I. <laughs> well, Donia finally texted me, who we used to work with at Sheer Structure, uh, and was like, "Are you ever gonna get a facial?" <laughs> sure, I'll do it. Anyway, um, what do we got going on today? Hello, everyone, everyone says good afternoon. Hello, everyone. You are beautiful. With, you are beautiful without makeup. Oh, Megan, I also love a good facial. I prefer a facial over a massage, and I forgot. It's been like three years since I had a facial, and I forgot how relaxed it makes me. It takes me a few minutes to get my bearings. I feel a little intoxicated after them. Actually, I guess I just got a bad one oh because my I was praying to God that it would end. I literally it, it, swore <laughs> in the middle of mine. No. I was oh. like, God, this could not be over soon enough for me. I think I just had a bad experience. So well, I would go again. Who does, the esthetician who does mine is also a massage therapist. So um, I don't know if it's normal or not, but during her facials, you also get a massage. And oh my gosh, I'm so, no. where a massage? Where? Like, like the decollete shoulders, area, nice. shoulders, arms. That's nice. Yeah. Oh. That's nice. She does this thing like with her fingers up your neck. It like. Oh, yeah, yeah. She, it's really good. She has good. the magic hands. It's really good. She does. Yes, facials. Um, Megan says, my first facial, I woke myself up snoring. I did that with my <laughs> eyelashes my first time. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a relaxing, and you get in that warm bed, and it's like yeah. a heated bed with a nice plush blanket, and the music, and the lights are off, and it's those water fountains. Oh, it's nice. It's Box good. Fan. It's good. If you can treat yourself, then do that. It is worth it. Um, okay. We are making a fun craft today. It is a Christmas card. I guess you could do this. Oh, would you give this for any other season? Um, I don't, you, you could change up the colors. I think that it, to. the foliage on it is a little too evergreen to make it like a spring something. Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm distracted. I just saw myself and I'm really red. Anyway. <laughs> you had a facial. Wow. Anyway, I, I think it's really cute. It was designed for Christmas. I did mention uh, I made this cut file because I was walking through Belk and they have these big, huge layered wreaths hanging from the ceiling and I was like I don't know if Anna pointed them out we were together anyway we decided we loved them and that it was a really cool idea so I was inspired that awesome tree that was kind of the same concept too yeah so they took basically you would take this file and then layer it make some smaller too and, and duplicate um I don't know, several of them and then, like layered it with foam with foam squares and then kind of put it like on a dowel rod a skinny skinny dowel rod or something like that so this this file is very versatile i have created um the whole file for you so it has the the layered wreath it has the bow and then it also has the card base and the card liner so that's really fun and also we um wasn't planning to make this envelope today but the card went together so quickly that I decided we probably did need an envelope is something wrong uh, someone said the static is back it sounds fine to me two other people and then it also it. has the card base sounds and clear as a bell liner. liner so that's really fun and mm, that's so interesting I mean do you hear it the, the card went together so quickly. I don't hear it just left again Melissa said this is a problem we're gonna have to get on this. I wonder if it's my antenna your antenna on my pack. I don't know. I'm just going to leave know. it right here. I'm afraid. Maybe I'll put it here. But you Sorry. You need to clip it to your, the back? No. It's okay. It's okay. I just won't touch it. I think maybe I was touching it with my arm. I don't know. Okay. Hopefully it works out. Um, that's very interesting. These are brand new and not cheap. So we have to figure that out. 
Okay, anyway, back to the cut file. It is available. It is um, in the Dropbox link for everyone who is a Flock member, it is available. And so if you have not gotten it yet, go over and grab it, download it. You can make this in no time at all. It cuts out really quick, puts together really quick, quickly. And um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, the Flock is a membership here at Oak and Lamb. So we love crafting. We do crafting with Cricut. We do it with Glowforge. We love sublimation. We love woodworking. We love sewing. We love home decor. We love anything crafty and creative, we want to touch on it. And so if you love all of that as well, then the flock is your home. So join, you're going to love it. Rachel has probably dropped the link for you all. Um, the link that she has dropped gives you access to our first course that we have put together, which has all sorts of amazing foundational skills that you can learn. And it also gives you access to the flock through the end of May. Now, in the future, this will not be available in this manner. So if you want access to our cut files and our member only content and our amazing community, now is the time to jump on board because like I said, it won't be available this way again. Do we have anything that we need to go over? Let me think. Um, you don't have to do now. We might wait till more friends come, but our amazing Christmas live, we definitely have to chat about. Yes. But we, we can do it now, later, whatever you're feeling. Let's do it now. Let's okay. talk about it right now. So we are inviting you. You are invited. Everyone is invited. We are having a holiday party with the flock on December 23rd. It starts at 4 p.m. Eastern and it will be between an hour to two hours. And if you were here yesterday, you've already heard us talk about it. I also did a little um, update in the private Facebook group to give you a little bit of information about it. But basically what we're going to do is just have a virtual party with you all. Which doesn't that sound like so much mm -hmm. fun with the stress of the holidays, family in, you've been cleaning your house like a crazy person. You just get to chill and have a good evening. You all deserve it. Yes. Yeah, so we are going to have a fun segment on charcuterie boards, which are very popular right now. We have conned Julie Moss into coming and helping us with this segment. I think Julie and Anna are doing that segment together. And That's going to be so much They're fun. going to be telling you all about charcuterie boards, what to look for in a board or a tray, what um, sorts of foods go well together, how can you theme your charcuterie boards how can you make them cute and decorative and space them all out we also have some great resources and accounts um, kind of influencers that we're going to tell you about that we love to follow for inspiration on charcuterie boards as well so that's gonna be a really fun and different segment and we're also doing a white elephant segment which is going to be traditional but not because it's virtual so what we're going to have is 10 presents and we are going to choose 10 flock members so you do have to be a flock member in order to to be eligible to, to participate in this program or uh, game so we have 10 gifts and we're going to have a separate chat for those 10 people that are randomly chosen and basically um, they'll draw a number or we'll draw the number for them and they'll go in order number one gets to choose a gift they open it or we open it for you. Number two is like, I want to steal that or I want to choose a different one. We yeah. open that one. Three and it goes all the way like that. And then, um, of course, the person who got the first number at the end gets to decide if they want to keep their present or if they want to steal someone else's. So it's, it's going to be it's so really fun. fun. I'm really excited. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be a hoot. We were talking today about some of the gifts that we want to do. There will be probably at least one gag gift. Because it's, it's not good white elephant if there's not a good gag That's gift. That's true. Yeah. Uh, Melissa said, did you post the Facebook post to respond or are you sending an invite to the group? I have not. I have not posted it yet. I will post that today. Thank you for reminding me. Um, for those of you who won things at our Black Friday event or the very first event, poor Christy has been waiting so patiently. Thank you for that. I think I saw her here um, on the feed. Yep, there she is now. Um, those shipped out yesterday. I was in the process of sending out your tracking numbers. I will get to that sometime this afternoon. I'll email you with your tracking numbers so that you can be looking for those. But thank you all for being so patient um, while we were getting those out. I know it's hard to wait sometimes when we're excited about getting things. Oh yeah. Crystal says, where can we sign up for the elephant exchange? Okay, so uh, what I will do, Anna, can you give me my drink please? I will have a post in the private Facebook group that is asking um, for RSVPs. Thank you so much. So we'll RSVP to the event and um, 
If you're going to be able to be there from four to six on the 23rd, then RSVP to let us know that you are going to be there and that you would like to be um, eligible to participate in that. So there'll be a post, I'll pin it to the top and then we'll talk about it a couple of times. Um, great question. Anything else? I don't think, Fred, just- Fred joined us. Yeah, Hi Fred. Fred's, Fred's, yeah, Fred's here. He's been, oh, uh, he's Freddy. been giving me some, um, advice on to help with the static. So I think we've got it under well, control. What was his advice? Do you really want to know? Yeah. It was that there's probably some static on the tables and I just needed to use my phalanges to touch all of the cables. So, <laughs> so there was probably some The other day static. we were having some sort of something and he touched it and it popped and it was gone. Well, we, so we were seeing a level from somewhere. We yeah. were like, all the mics are off. Where's this level coming from? Fred came over here and touched the mic and the level went away. So apparently that happens sometimes. So he was like, touch all the cables. And I'm like, will do. And we haven't had any more issues. So I hope that was it. Thanks, Fred. Yes. I love this. I love it's a it's a family affair around here. Oh yeah. Everyone's helping, everyone's pitching in. Anyway, so we're very excited about the party with the flock. We want you to come. We want you to join. You don't have to be a member to be there live with us and it will be a fun event yeah. so you um, do want to be a, be a member though so that you can get into that amazing white elephant gift and also if we're talking yeah. about how many members we have a little over 200 which means your chances of getting chosen are, are pretty high mm -hmm. yeah. so it's going to be a super fun day if yes. you haven't already joined us grab that course below and join the flock it's amazing yes amazing okay let's get to crafting um i think i am ready here on well as soon as i pull it up design space. We will look at the cut file that we're using today. Yeah, we can go ahead and open it. Um, I'm uploading here. We can view all. And the file that we're using is right here. We're giving you a little preview of the other files that dropped this week. And I, which one is your favorite? I want to know. Let me know in the comments which of these from this week is your favorite. Do you want to try and guess what my favorite is and it's not what you think? It's not what I think. Uh -uh. What do you think it is? I think, well, I was going to say the bee creative. Mm, I love one more than the bee. The Christmas tree? Yes. <laughs> the Christmas tree cake? The snack cake. It's very interesting. I did not realize that so many people, one, loved them like we do, and yes. two, had never heard of them. That shocked me. If you have never heard of the little Debbie cakes, like the, the Christmas tree specifically, like they are, they are sought after. People wait for them to hit the shelves on the supermarket. Yeah. You have to try one. So this is the file that we're using today. You can see right here the wreath by itself and then I have this card and this card finishes as is at like right around four by four inches. So that is a fantastic size. And all we need to do in order to get this ready to go is to ungroup and we need to change this cut line right here from a cut line by coming up to operations, pressing this down arrow and then changing it from a basic cut line to a score line. Now what I want to do is with that score line still um, selected, I'm going to press shift and select this back layer as well. Now I can press attach in the bottom right hand corner and it will attach that score line to the cut out just like that, perfect. We can send this to the back too if we want. And then I need to do the same thing right here, changing this from a cut line to a score line selecting all of it and pressing attach. And now since I don't need to do anything else, I can go ahead and click make it, but I'm going to teach you a fun little trick today. I, you know I do it a lot. This is one, two, uh, six, seven, eight. This is nine different colors of cardstock. It's gonna take forever to is load it that. Nine? nine different colors. Oh. It's gonna take forever to load that, let the machine read it, etc etc and so i'm going to cheat the system and just make all of them this well all but two the same color so i'm going to have my card base and my liner the same color and then i'm going to put all of this on the in the same color just by dragging and dropping so that it will be on two mats instead of nine now i can click make it it's or Hold on just a second here. Let's connect and press that. I'm going to press done. And then what I want to do is just arrange this on my mat so that I know where I'm putting things. Um, and what I want to do is just sort of space it out um, really deliberately. So I'll put that there. I'm going to move this down here. 
And then I'm gonna start this at four inches so that I know to put my second piece of cardstock at four. And then this one, I'll put my second piece of cardstock starting at eight. This is a real time saver. Mm -hmm. This is good. And then this one is gonna come down here. And then this piece will be right here. And then these two pieces are gonna come over here. And see, now they're all in four inch um, segments or increments. Now, because this is not four inches, you could have made your, your piece of paper smaller. However, I did not want to craft fell, so I've made them all just four inches so I didn't have to worry about it. Um, and now what I'm going to do is grab my mat and my pieces of cardstock that I already have cut to four by four, and I'm going to place them in the corresponding spots on my mat. So, tell me when I am in. Are we good right here? You're perfect. Okay. I'm going to start with this one. Just place it in the top left corner. And Miss Carly, welcome to the flock. She just joined. Welcome, Carly. We are so excited to have you here in the flock. Let us know what your flock number is. If you are not sure, the flock number is your order number. Which so you, I know right here. It's 581. Yeah, because you, you got the email? I know, well, I went to look. Yes. I don't get the emails, but oh, I'm I get going the emails, over here yes. to refresh my yes. page. Because I love it when Becca shouts them out it's during the so live. It's so fun, So I'm yes. like, let me try and figure that out over Welcome, here. Carly. Um, definitely go after the live, go over to Facebook, join the private Facebook group. I will preview as soon as I am finished and see the request. And then... I can approve it now if you do it. Yeah. Just, yeah, whenever. Perfect. Look at all these colors. Okay, so I'm just lining these up just like this. And then I'm using my brayer to make sure I have it good and adhered. Just like that. And now we're going to press continue over in design space, connect to our machine. And we will choose. Oh, wait, just a second. Let me go back over here. I want to move this down first too. Mm -hmm. Now I can press continue. And I'm going to choose medium cardstock as my material setting today. Medium cardstock. We don't need that just yet. And then we can load our mat and let it cut out. And while this is cutting out, we can chat a little bit if we want to. Are there any questions that I need to answer? Any crafting questions? Any questions about our holiday event? Any questions about the flock? Any questions about Rachel's personal life that might embarrass her? Let me know. <laughs> you know, I, I am I, an open book here. To be honest, at this point, I don't think anything embarrasses me. It's true. I Rachel is the best sport ever. I can't think of a thing Becca hasn't already shared that, that would get me. So, you know, I really bring it. We could show that uh, text thread <laughs> where she was showing our headshots, and you're like, you're just jealous that yours isn't as good as mine. Yeah. She had like 17 chins. I yeah. don't even know loves, how she did that. It's one of that. my favorite things about her. Rachel loves, when I'm testing the lighting for my camera, she'll be like, <laughs> and yes. give me the best face ever. Yes. So I have this whole Coll it's collection, probably a collection by now. of my favorite she pictures just, of Rachel. Becca sent them in the group chat with uh, I everyone. Think, I feel and like we it need was, a gallery wall next we to do, your desk. We need a gallery right wall. So, so I sent... That's it. My <laughs> headshot, which was really good, and Anna's, which was really good, and then I sent Rachel's, which was really good. And I was like, okay, what do you all think? These are the ones I'm putting on the About Me section. And <laughs> it was the best ever. It was the best. <laughs> Y'all are just jealous. <clears throat> is there an is. envelope for this card? There is. I am making an envelope. I'll show you how I'm going to size it. I should have done it while I was in design space, but we'll do it in a little bit. Uh, well, I can do it right now. Okay, I'll switch back over. Okay. And yes, we saw Miss Michelle Gerald join last night. <gasps> Congratulations, Hi, Michelle. Yes. Michelle. I, I approved her in the group last yes, night. Yes, yes. Okay. So, we have this file that is also available to ONL members. Uh, right here that has a liner in with it. And what I want to do is just size this so that it will fit a square card. And before you all jump on me, yes, square cards do cost more money to send. Maybe just hand this one to someone. <laughs> and put it down in a bag. Yeah. Yeah. And apparently the price of stamps is going up too. I've heard complaints about It goes about up every that. year. It's, it's ridiculous. It's only like $76 to send a letter, isn't it? I don't. <laughs> Did you say so that? 
It's in the weather. I don't know. I, I sent I'm out, not sending out Christmas cards. I sent out 70 <gasps> Christmas cards this year, and I Wayne bought the stamps. I forgot to ask how much they were. Yeah. Okay, so I am in design space, yeah? Yes. So what I want to do is resize this basic shape to four inches because that is the size of my card. And then I just place it over here. And then what I want to do is select both of these layers together. And I'm going to unlock the size lock ratio right here in the bottom left-hand corner. And then just drag this until it fits my four inch. And I, I don't want it exactly four inches. I want it a little bit bigger because um, the card won't fit well in there if you make it too similar in size. So that's really good right there. You can delete that. And then the same thing, I need to take ungroup and then change this from a cut line to a score line and attach by selecting both layers and pressing attach. And then the same thing with this liner right here, changing to a score line. Linda wants to know if she'll be able to have access to the rainbow pickle cut file. Oh, oh, dear Jesus. You know, that is not an Oak and Liam um, file that I intended to share. We'll have to ask Fallon. However, <laughs> I, I can share the PNG version. Um, I'm not entirely sure that it is SVG worthy. I might have to work on it. <laughs> we'll see. It may have some extra anchors that would throw things off. Uh, we, maybe. We'll see. Maybe. Um, the uh, public library would like to know, she said, would you consider ever doing projects using infusible ink sheets besides making mugs? I don't have a sublimation printer, but I do have plenty of infusible ink sheets. Yes, we do sublimation or in infusible ink projects as well. Absolutely. Which camera are we on, Rachel? Whichever one you want to be right now. Let's we're in this. design space. Okay, let's do this overhead camera. Okay. I'll take this off. Um, and to take it off, I'm just going to flip and remove from my mat. Just like this, you see it is coming off beautifully and not curling. And I'm almost finished here. There is a teeny tiny itty bitty piece which I will undoubtedly lose. They're easy But to I'm going to try not to. Jeannie said, how much cardstock do you need for this project? How many colors do you need? I'm wondering if I can cut multiples and have people make this card. You absolutely can cut multiples. Um, if you cut them at four by four inch, then you could do um, four, eight, 12. You could do nine per 12 inch piece. And of course the base wouldn't be, you would need more of the base color. Right. Great question. Let me grab my scraper here, take this off. And then I'm getting ready to put the card base and the card liner cardstock. And I just cut them at five by 12 inches. Um, I'm putting my liner piece up here. And one thing that I do wanna point out, we are gonna be scoring this and I am going to use my scoring wheel today because the papers like these that have metallic on them a lot of times when you use the scoring stylus it puts too much pressure on it and it will sort of remove some of that metallic that's good i didn't know that that's good to yes know. so that is why i'm going to be using the scoring wheel today you can use a scoring stylus maybe flip your material over so that it doesn't um it doesn't ruin that okay so i'm going to choose medium card stock and design space and it does the default setting um, the default scoring, did I already look? No, I didn't. Okay. Whew. The default <laughs> scoring tool is the scoring wheel. And if you do not know anything about that, look at all these fun tips. Right? This is so fun. And this is one adaptive tool that all of these will fit on. Yeah, so it's called the grab. switch housing, the yeah. quick swap housing. And to put it on, you just push this button at the top and it pulls in a little button for lack of a better word and you place it on somehow and then let go and it's good and snug on there so now I'm going to load my mat into my machine and then I'll load the scoring wheel in there as well so I have to remove my fine point blade which is the disadvantage of using the scoring wheel over the scoring stylus however since I'm only doing it one time it doesn't really bother me to do it once 
Anna, you looked like you were going to say something. No? Anna was saying nothing. Okay. Because I take lots of drugs, so it's just my normal face. Okay, yeah. It's just her normal face. Okay, now we're going to press our flashing start button. Perfect. Let me know if we have any questions. I saw one and I was sifting through trying to find it and realized I don't think I even had it on the camera of you loading that into the thing. But you know, you can't do it all. You can't do it all. Oh, amazing. I have a, it says single scoring mill is not detected. <laughs> okay. Have we ever used the scoring? Well, you did today, yeah, you? used it today. Yeah, well, then that should be happening. Well, I may have to restart all of this because it's giving me a red flashing button, so that's fun. Okay. Ariel said, I would have never thought about that when making envelopes. I think she means, like, putting the four-inch square right there and just sizing it down. Mm -hmm. She said, Becca is a design space wizard. Oh. Okay. Give me just a second to get this back up here. I had to restart Design Space entirely. Oh. Yeah. So I didn't have my save, save project. No big deal. Uh, okay. Let me just change those scoring wheels. And then I'm going to delete this stuff because I don't need it right Kat, um, Kat says that she's so excited to hear Anna here. Yes. You know, Anna, they ask all the time when you're going to be here for lives. <laughs> oh when i can be <laughs> when she can be when we make enough money to pay her so tell all your friends <laughs> yeah. although the interesting thing this is hysterical several of my clients and actually my my nail tech um make fun of me because they say that i have rbf and so it looks really unnatural for me to be on camera and that it looks like i'm faking the whole time and i was like well these people don't know me so <laughs> who, told, who said that um well rachel definitely said it yeah <laughs> And and then a couple other clients. Our our um, friend Rachel, not not, not this, this not Rachel, me. our yeah. real friend Rachel. Oh, our redheaded, feisty, fantastic eyelash tech Rachel. She is fantastic. She does all three of ours, and we love her. She's been doing mine the longest. <clears throat> Who coincidentally win this competition? I, I actually I actually had her do them when I got married yeah, okay. six well, years well, ago. So. Who's been doing them consecutively the longest? Uh, After who hired for her like so that she three got years straight, three years training straight. for eyelash technicians? <laughs> That's true. Becca did. <laughs> Becca hired her. Oh, man. Not that it's a competition. Nothing's a competition. No, 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 not no. here. <laughs> Sir Daddy Scarface says, I have a question. Is there a difference between 651 vinyl and 147 vinyl? I think you mean 143. And that is just the name of the company that sells a bunch of vinyls. And then um, Oracle 651 is also the brand of a very popular vinyl. Um, 143 Vinyl sells a vinyl called Starcraft Premium HD. And it is extremely comparable to Oracle 651, except it's cheaper. Um, but we love 143 Vinyl, if you guys haven't mm. used it before. Oh, Becca, it said the same thing. Yeah, it's giving me another wonderful... Just put the stylus in. The problem is, is that I have to restart it again. Oh, to just put the stylus in? Yeah, because it, I don't know if the firmware needs to be updated. It's very interesting because I literally just used it before we went live. That's frustrating. Score, yeah, we're going to use the scoring stylus. We're giving me a red flashing button. Oh, I hate that red flashing button. I don't love using that maker anyways. I like to use the Explore 3. This is really fun. This is two craft fails. This isn't a craft. This, this is not my fail. fault. It was not like yesterday. Guys, I got off the live yesterday. My brain was fried, and I was like, that was rough. For some reason, it doesn't. It was like the cutest project ever, too. I would not have wanted to pick that one to go so poorly because it was so It was cute. adorable. It turned out fine anyway. But it's fine. It did. Eh. I have to bring out the Explorer. Um, Cat, StarCraft vinyl name again. StarCraft, that's it. StarCraft Premium. It was, um, it's marketed as permanent. It's like permanent HD or something like that. And Carly, why can people tag and reply to me in the comments, but I don't have that option. If you do the at symbol, so type the at symbol first and then start typing someone's name and it'll show up, it'll pop up that way. You know what? I had that same question though, because I have to type the whole name out. Mine won't pop up when I do the ads. That's interesting. And really? I, on my phone, it won't. I've not tried it on my computer. It might be because you're on your phone. 
Oh, Carly, that might be the issue. No, because I, I notice like when, when other people will tag people, it even highlights their name, and mine's not highlighted at all when oh. I do it. Oh, Anna, Sir Daddy Scarface says, Anna, you just need to smile more. That's so true. <laughs> I, I say this all the time. It's like a, um, a joke on Becca, but I went to Hobby Lobby after work one day, and she was already at Hobby Lobby, and I saw her, and she didn't see me, and holy crap, she looks terrifying. Like, honestly, I feel like a small child would run the other direction if they had caught a glimpse of Becca. She looked like she was in the worst mood in the world. And then I finally got her attention. She just lit up and was like, hey, Rach. And I'm like, dear Lord. Just imagine if she is mad because at you. Because here's the thing. She wasn't. Like, she was just looking around, looking for craft stuff at Hobby Lobby. But her face was like, get away from me. It was we can't find that honest because our mom's the exact same way. Yeah. yeah. My and dad's it's... eyes smile all the time, though. Oh, I know. Doug is like... Oh, magical Dougie. He's just a kind soul. You can just see it in his face. Sparkly blue eyes. I love Doug. I'm going to have to hand cut this stupid thing. <laughs> Becca's got worse problems over there. It's true. She's just like, I'll show you RBF. <laughs> I think we need a firmware update. So that's That's fun. fun. Could be design space issue. Mary says she has to type the name on her phone, but not her PC. You know what, Mary? Oh. I feel like so maybe that is next the time. I'm totally gonna try my laptop. I've never had issues on my laptop doing that. Score. Okay, let's try this again. Sorry, friends. Oh. It also will not let me move it to a nut. I'm about to throw. Design space. That's so weird. Okay. What's it doing? It wouldn't let me move it to another map. It has to be design space and maybe not the machine. Maybe. If it's, maybe it's not ratchet you computer you years. <laughs> right. <laughs> poor Becca. Becca was saying poor Rachel for an hour and 43 minutes yesterday. Was it an hour and 43 minutes? Well, yes. I totally missed the live oh and just don't watch it please <laughs> i'm gonna hurt please, you now please don't watch what it happened? The violence? it wasn't her fault becca I, and you can disagree with me i don't care if you do would you have done anything differently mm -mm. than the way i did it no yesterday people say that they would put like a clear coat on um and maybe i should have done that but in the, during the live stream would you have done anything differently no that's the only reason well, I could have even slept well, last night. The time. vinyl would not stick. It's like the, there was no adhesive on the vinyl. It vinyl would not stick, stick to the wood. To I the wood. sanded the wood. I was stained it HTV the wood. Was it HTV or regular? Regular. Then we had to cut and do HTV. It's like it's like it's like baby powder or something. No, it was no. Crazy. Listen, I had a sign that I made um, that one like in the entryway to my kitchen, and I could not get the vinyl to stick. So I put polyacrylic over top of it to seal it down, and it still bubbles up. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, HTV worked really well. Yeah. So she ended up cutting out iron on oh. and putting it on the wood, and it worked well. And yeah. then we didn't pilot hole or pilot bore the board. Oh, that's a great A mistake right there. Here's the thing, I too. I hope Doug wasn't I watching. I didn't even think to do that. It never crossed my mind not once to bore holes in there before I... What? Never occurred to me. Never occurred to me. Or else I would have done it. Right. It never occurred to me. Oh, I know. It was shameful. I want to switch to the overhead Becca. Okay. Right now I am actually having to go back and do the envelope again because from where I had to restart design space. Look how pretty that shimmer is on that Isn't paper. Isn't it beautiful? So we we picked out some good paper Christmas packs. Christmas cheer. We did. Yeah. We got some cute wins. Good thing this... Rachel, it's so yeah. funny because before the live I was like, oh, this live's going to be like four seconds because this is so quick. And you're mm -hmm. like, yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> you jinxed me. I'm, I'm so sorry. I was just scarred from yesterday. It took me a while to recover. I was, I, I, ooh. ooh. Yeah. But see, we worked through most of the issues. The borehole thing, I didn't even think about at all. Maybe should have. Hey, guess what? I'll know next time. Yeah, I'll absolutely. I will 100% know next time. They learned with us. They did learn with us. Someone made a comment that I got to reply to this morning that said, um, it's just like crafting with your girlfriends. There's no fails. And I was like, that's really sweet. And we had all fun. That was that the, the point, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to load the mat with the envelope color here. Also grab my brayer and bray it down. 
And then I will assemble part of this card while this is cutting out. I'm using the medium cardstock option again. And my scoring stylus is already in there. Yes, Anna. I just had to say, Terry said, Becca, at 3 a.m. this morning, I was on Design Space. And I just want to stop whoa, whoa, right whoa, whoa, whoa. there. We don't even have to talk about the rest of what happened 3 here. 3 a.m.? What in the world? Me, Becca, and Rachel are, like, we'll start texting at, like, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning because all of us get up super early. But not at but 3. But by, like, 8.39, you... we're out for the night. No. And anything that happens at 3 a.m. is always a disaster and the devil's work in my eyes. Listen, like, I can barely I get up hate and pee 3 at 3 a.m. I don't even know. I'd rather wear a diaper and pee on myself, I think. Like, oh. like for real. Oh. That sounds awful. What are you doing? I Me am sorry. Oh. You had, well, she oh, ended no, up she having um, design space issues that she was mad about, but I would have just been mad about 3 a.m. in general. Me too. Poor Terry. Well, nothing is working. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Is that blade dull? Clearly no. it's dull. No, it, it, remember how hard it was for me to remove the backing off the vinyl yesterday? Because it cut through. My no, she's not dull. My goodness. It's just me, I guess. Or just the both of us. Maybe Anna just needs to come craft. Let Anna take over right now. Yeah. She said, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm being really boring. I don't want to be boring. Anna, oh! Oh, God, what? Oh, no. Let's hear it. <laughs> knock, knock, Anna. Did you just say knock, knock? I was there. Europe. Hold on, I want to walk into anything. Europe? Europe. Like E U R O P? Europe. Okay. Oh. You, ha you know what you have to say. Europe. Who? Fair enough. I'm ashamed right now. Yes, dear, but did your four-year-old teach you that one? No, I was watching Yellowstone, and it was, that's why I went up to you the other day. I forgot about that. If you all didn't know, we're like 12-year-old boys with our humor here. And I've been dying to say that to Anna. I'm, I'm absolutely ashamed. Yeah, uh, you're, you're ashamed you didn't think of it? Ashamed you didn't... You're a poo. You're a poo. You're a poo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, my oh. eyes are, mom's rolling her eyes. Coming from the queen of the worst jokes in the universe. She's probably mad I talked about poo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's put this guy together. I am going to start with the biggest piece, obviously, and go to the smallest piece. And so what I want to do is grab my zig pin. You could use what i just still laughing over it it's oh a good one gosh. right you could use are you overhead or a, i'm overhead okay yeah good i thought you were doing your job well oh um <laughs> well, i'll try <laughs> you could use double-sided adhesive if you wanted for this however these are such small pieces that i just love this zig pin and the zig pin goes on blue if you've not used it it will dry clear so don't worry about that but it has a super small tip on it like a pin and um, you have really great control over where the adhesive goes. So I'm just putting adhesive around this part. I don't necessarily need it right here because nothing, one, um, it, it doesn't need it strong enough. And two, I want um, to not have to put adhesive up here if nothing is actually gonna go on it. So trying to judge how far up I would need to put it. Um, oops, I put the wrong one on, Dad, gum it. Not paying attention. This one is the one that goes. Maybe you could easily pull that up. Yes, that's one cool thing about this. It takes a minute to dry. Okay, so this goes here. And then to line it up, you just line up the center circle right here. Then we'll put another piece right here. Or not piece. Strip. This one goes, and I'm not going to do them right on top like this. I'm going to kind of stagger them out a just little. a little yeah. bit. Not much, but just yeah. a little bit. So there's that one. And then this little bitty one, I'm gonna just make sure that I put it right here toward the inside because we get really thin right there. And this goes right here. And Becca, it seems like lots of people are having some design space issues, so it's definitely not just us. Okay, 
Is there I mean, an update? I'm sad that everyone's there having issues. There probably needs to be an update. Who knows? I am going to put the bow together now. Look how cute that would be, like, as a little paper garlandy. It would also be cute to put... Or felt. Obviously, once this is on here, and then you could put, like, a little tag for a name tag as a place setting or something. Ooh, Wouldn't that be cute? I'd probably make it a little bit bigger if I did that. You could run um, a... If you made it bigger, your uh, napkin ring through it. Mm -hmm. Or not mm -hmm. your, nap your napkin. Make it a napkin ring. Yeah. Becca, Teresa wants to know if you made your Christmas cards. I did. Year. I mean, I designed them. Is that what you mean? And then I had... Um, you did the majority of the work for sure. Yeah, I made the cut files. It's um, the cut file that I used... Excuse me. The cut file that I created on Black Friday's Live with that hamper, that's the file that I used for the back of it. And then I had Miller's Print Lab... Uh, print them for me. Okay, so this is together. And then I don't want to put this on here until the base, the card base is ready. So grab this right here. We'll just fold it. You can use your bone folder if you want to just to crease those. However, it's not really necessary. And then what I want to do is open this up. Place this in here, got it upside down, and then close it. And then what I like to do, slip this part open and then grab my ATG gun. This is where Becca got mad at me making my card because I put too much ATG. Well, she yeah. didn't get mad. No, yeah, yeah. But uh, she, I think she asked me why I was doing it a bit excessively. Rachel just likes things to stick, it's fine. Okay, so that's ready. Do not make this card without the liner. It does make a difference. I was I, fixing to say I probably wouldn't even have bothered with that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. The pattern cardstock is so flimsy. If it was regular cardstock, I think you'd get away This is like it. a quality card I now. know, and we do nothing less than quality here at Oakland Land. It's 110 or zero, Anna. I know. Which one are you picking? Wow. <laughs> you, wow. Do I even work here? I know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put adhesive on the back of this. And I'll probably put it up just a little bit more, more than just around the ring right here. I keep forgetting that we're not in camera necessarily when I'm that far up. It's totally fine. Okay. You're good. And then I'll flip this guy over just like this. And then we can grab this little guy. And you can decide if you want to put it at the top or the bottom. I generally like my bows at the bottom of my wreath. Anna, do you like the top or the bottom? I'm a bottom girl. Okay. Going on the bottom. Rach, which do you prefer? Bottom. Okay. Are you just saying that? No. I threatened I would, her. I would, yeah. I'm pinching her arm. Yeah, she's, she's pin, pinching oh, the Oh, you know that lady. pinch. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so that is finished, and then we are ready to just go ahead and put our envelope together. The envelopes go together super quickly. Oh, Kat, that was harsh. That was harsh. What? I love you, though. She said, now we know why Anna's still doing hair. <laughs> yep. She's got uh, some learning to do. She has do. to be no, trained kidding. a little yeah. bit more. Oh, yeah. dear God. She needs, she needs a yeah. little more time. How many, how many hundreds of hours are we going to put on the... But on the roster for her, Becca, for her to finally get to work here. A couple oh, it's hundred. like me getting my cosmetology license where I have yeah, like exactly. 2,000 hours. Exactly, 1,200. Okay. I think okay. we should do 1,200. Oh, tw yeah. You and I can sign off on them. She needs to have like a reg like a, a form that we sign off on. Yes. Dear yeah. God. Okay. So I'm just going in with my bone folder and creasing all of those score lines. And then what I want to do is place the liner in, center it up. And then I like to go back with my bone folder and just crease again. I'm surprised you didn't scallop those edges or something. Well, that's another file, my friend. <laughs> oh, I put this on backward. <laughs> Watch this, though. Does Becca get some of her uh, CEU hours revoked for doing stuff like that? No, no, okay. no, 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 no. No, not when you're she's, as high as Becca. She's grandfathered in, huh? She's grandfathered in. Okay, she didn't even have to renew her license. She's got tenure. No. Yeah. yeah, tenure. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't put it on the wrong. Why is it so weirdly shaped? 
Oh, it's not. <laughs> Don't pay attention to this. No one's ever going to see it. Look, all better. Only us will see it. That's it. Piece of here. And then these go in, this goes in, this goes down. So we're going to put adhesive right here. I should roll that off so my car doesn't get stuck on it. So the cool thing about dry adhesive is that, look, you can see, it rolls right off. Look at that. You, never mind. What? Nothing. Are you making make, fun of me? No, I was going to make fun of my own self. Do you know what happens when I try and do that? The oh, whole thing tears? No. I, I rub off the paper too because my hands are sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> I rub the color off of the paper. I've done it several times. Maybe better. I need to be gloved oh, better. Up. <laughs> wow this was this way wow there we go card is finished how much more expensive is it to ship these do we know mail no these? i don't know actually Maybe do we have any hey expensive. fred how much more expensive is it is he still on here i don't know i don't know look how cute these are though he just he just does network security for the postal service does he actually know how much their stuff costs oh i think he should i think he should yeah yeah we blamed him the other anyway, day for yeah, our we did. We package sure did. not being here we blame anyone that we can for yeah. things yeah <laughs> i'm done oh. i'm done so i don't need it back to you yeah let me clean up here because i get ridiculed for my craft tables <laughs> My gosh, if you only do, guys, I left everything the way it was yesterday. I said, Becca, I'm just going to clean this up tomorrow. <laughs> she said, okay. Rachel, what? where's the tip to this? The tip to what? I don't know. That's why it wasn't working. Where did it go? What's it look like? Did you put it back? It, no, it, is it back on the caddy? I don't think so. It's no, really it's right here. Floor. That's <gasps> why it wasn't. The tip fell out? Yes, that's why it wasn't recognizing it. And it's like stuck under there. Oh, no. Okay, that, but that makes me feel better. It's a brand new tip. It's, well, I just probably didn't put it on there well. I can fish this out later. But that makes me feel better. That's why we had I'm an so issue. I'm so glad we know. Yes. Anyway, what have we got going on? Well, they think they're adorable. Does everyone feel sorry for me? It's stuck under there, friends. I wonder why it popped off. I don't know. There we go. Um, who's coming to our holiday party? I want to know. Holla. Holla. Our holiday. A holiday. Mm -hmm. Holiday. <clears throat> it fell off in the machine. It did, yes, Melissa. But Christmas, we've got it. Christmas Adam is what Becca calls it. Christmas yeah. Eve Eve. I heard that Becca was going to do like a Christmas carol session with y'all. I heard that too. I heard there was going to be some break dancing involved. Yes. We'll definitely get more subscribers if I do that. Well, Becca's yeah. kids like to get the nugs. Is that what they call it? Get the nugs. <laughs> Becca, please show them what getting the nugs is. I don't, my son is very odd. He's the cutest thing in the world. He's very odd. And he has some really great dance moves. And one of them, a chicken he, he wing. called it a chicken nut, a chicken wing, and he would do like this thing. Oh my gosh, it was the cutest thing. But now he, no, can they even see me? You have to do it up high. Yeah. This is true. Now he does this thing where he like bends over low. and he's like doing this oh, thing. Oh, 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 And he calls it getting the nugs. Nugs? <laughs> like no, nuggets? Like nuggets. Like nuggets. I'm not sure. Okay. He's adorable. You'll have to bring him in and let us really see it. Maybe. Maybe he'll come to the holiday party. That would be fun. And yes, he can Vanna White it for us. Yeah. Yeah, Fallon. yeah. Um, okay. I'm looking at comments because I haven't looked at them at all. They're so excited to be there. Make Cheryl's sure going to be there. there. Yes. Rocky Top Hearts. I'm not there. I am super. If I'm not there, I'm super square. Carly, I love that. <laughs> um, and Carly's the one who just joined. I think that was the same Carly who just joined today so that she can be entered to win that amazing white elephant. Also, Phyllis just joined. Welcome, Phyllis. We are so excited to have you here in the flock. Um, definitely go over and join the private Facebook group. Um, I'll be there. We'll need a virtual baby shower for Rachel in February, too. We can buy baby. Oh, I love this idea. We can buy baby presents. Aww. That would be so amazing. That Anna, would be so Anna we can facilitate this. Yes. I'm Virtual sure. baby shower. Aww. Yes, if you all want to do that, let me know. So, Lisa, the way that you will RSVP to... The, I'm hot. It's hot in here. 
the way that you'll <laughs> RSVP to the holiday party is I am going to post something in the private Facebook group asking, um, and I'll, I'll pin it to the top. So you can let me know 100% there on that. Why are you laughing, Nina? Trisha said, I can't wait to do the nug on Xmas Eve. <laughs> you can be practicing. You can be practicing. Dumpster Dad going to come to the holiday party. Um, you know what? Dumpster Dad works for FedEx, Federal Express, and he likely will not be here that day because... He probably won't even be there on Christmas with his children when they open up presents. He may have to work Christmas Day. Yes. Um, I did not know that FedEx stood for that. Federal Express? I didn't know that. I don't know that. I know what UPS stands for and USPS. I didn't think FedEx stood for anything. Wow. Oh. Federal, Federal Express. Wow. He worked, and, and it, to be even more confusing, FedEx has divisions of FedEx. And a lot of people don't know this. They just think it's all one Like thing. Ground Express. Like yeah, all so that. there's FedEx Ground, there's FedEx Express, FedEx Home Delivery, Critical Care, Freight. There's like, Federal I, think, Express. I think there's nine of them, if I'm not mistaken. And so around here, FedEx Express gets a really bad name, which is who Wayne works for, because our ground service is abysmal. Like, terrible. Like, I have emailed the president of FedEx a couple of times over ground. It's ridiculous. Like they, they just leave your packages leaned up against your mailbox at your road. So it either looks like trash or people can just come by and steal no, it really fast. Most recently, ours just wouldn't even attempt to, to deliver ours. Our, our UPS driver, because he lives in our subdivision, we've known him forever, but he will bring the ground packages from the mailbox up to my front front door for me. Yeah, there are amazing couriers. Wayne is an amazing courier. He says, just save the leftovers. The leftover charcuterie board. What? Your mom just called you out. I called her a homeschooler. <laughs> Your mom just called you out. Mom, when can I come get chocolate chip cookies today? Are you still at work? With your $7 organic milk. With your $7. She, they all like, know you paid $7 for organic milk yesterday. Well, Richie, if you I have told them, milk, you have to I have told milk. them you didn't invite me over for cookies or nothing. She didn't bring them here for us either. No. I was at home by myself all evening, and she was our just eating hot chocolate chip cookies. cookies. Either. Mom and Disney <laughs> says, our delivery folks are superheroes. I love to hear when people love their couriers. Yeah. I really do. I love my courier husband and my courier dad, who, incidentally, retired to become a FedEx courier. Listen, that was He's hilarious. a workaholic, that I man. remember his first day. That was sweet. Yes. We his were first still, day? Yes. Yeah. His first day. Yeah. He's so funny. With my lunch. They were a big hit. They were yeah. a big hit, meaning they don't exist anymore? Who? The cookies? So the chocolate chip cookies? Well, hmm. The cat says, speaking of FedEx, don't forget to give your service workers thank you Christmas gifts. We even do it for our trash guys. I absolutely love that. Yeah. Um, that was one thing that, that um, the Makers Gonna Learn did the craft challenge, and when we planned those out forever ago, I was like, we have to do the, the FedEx UPS um gifts and i thought i i just love that idea because when wayne comes home and he's had a terrible day but someone has been kind enough to him to uh, even just give him a bag of chips or a drink or something like now he has he does have customers who give him like 50 dollars gift cards and things like that too but uh, just any act at all um to say thank you it's just the sweetest ever i julie said that their delivery guys are eating them out of house and home and guys <clears throat> you all will meet julie and she is super extra like all of us and she may be she more extra she is a little more extra and we love her for that um but she has a craft cart on her front porch that is full of goodies for her people that are like family because they come to her house every day that becca's son loves to raid <laughs> That snack cart, and he gets in trouble for the, it all the time. So the first time when Becca called me, what, like eight weeks ago now? Mm -hmm. It seems like it was two years ago. Uh, it really does seem like and way longer. And Becca was like, we're going to go to Donnie and Julie's, and we're going to talk about starting a business. Would you want to come? And I was like, oh, my gosh, please. So we all get in the car, and Becca drives us to Donnie and Julie's, and we walk up to the front porch, and that's the first thing I see. Is that an amazing Snacks. snack cart for all the delivery drivers? And it just says so much about their hearts. Just they're they're giving big hearts like that. And then after, oh my gosh, just talking and laughing and fellowshipping and praying, we leave, and Becca grabs like 
four bags of uh, goldfish. goldfish. <laughs> and so I'm like, Becky, put car. those back, put those back. And Julie's like, no, he doesn't know. I'm like, yes, he does. So next thing I know, <laughs> there's a box of 32 bags of goldfish being given to Becca because I'm hilarious. apparently a mean mommy and Julie's no. extra. Oh, it's so <laughs> He's funny. really skinny. He needs food. <laughs> Dumpster Dad says Julie's house is like a 7-Eleven. That's true. <laughs> Tell him about the Hershey bars. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, I'm totally telling on you and I'm sorry and I love you, but it's so funny. So we were, go we were going camping with um, a big group of our church and Anna and Julie and I decided that we were going to do something fun to give each family. There were like 80 something of us there. Um, and we decided to do a basket with s'mores stuff. So chocolate and graham crackers and marshmallows and skewers and, and a basket with some cute stuff on it. And we're all divvying out what we're going to order and bring and all the stuff. And Julie was like, I've got the chocolate. And he was like, well, I'll grab some, you know, because chocolate's expensive and blah, blah, blah. And uh, Julie was like, no, 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 I've, I've got the chocolate. And we're like, mm-hmm. So <laughs> Julie had COVID really bad um, and had COVID brain really bad and wanted s'mores one day. And so this awesome outdoor fire yes. pit. So she ordered a thing of chocolate bars from Sam's. And then, or Amazon or something. Or someplace. And then didn't do it for some reason. And then, like, a couple of weeks later, when it's more, I was like, oh, I need to order chocolate. So she ordered more chocolate. And then I think that happened two times, maybe oh. three. Long story short, Julie had enough chocolate bars four to feed the entire campground. <laughs> it, it was four of the, of the huge boxes that you would get to, like, stock a, like a, a vending machine or something. Yes. It was the best ever, and she will never like when 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 we're like old and really old. I'll still be telling this story on Julie. <laughs> uh, what else? What, what have I missed? Well, you've got to go get your kids. Is it three? Oh, I do. <laughs> I forgot we didn't go live at one. I know. Yeah, that was my fault. Yeah. And no, it's no, got it's my fine. lashes did. She's fine. Carly said, if you ever do a worship session, I am so there. Julie Moss is there for that, too, because she is the voice of an angel. Maybe she'll sing with Becca at our Christmas thing. <gasps> yes, she can sing. I, I don't need backup. Dance. You oh, can oh, both Becca, have a solo. Oh. It's going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, Becca, like, you, can do, you can do like the background dancing while she's singing. Oh, okay. And then you can have your own solo. <laughs> Anyway, thank you all so much. Thank you for those of you who joined the flock. Your support is invaluable, honestly. Uh, we couldn't do it without you. Literally could not do it without you. Um, so thank you so much for joining. I hope that you love the flock and your experience here. Let us know if you have any questions. And if you did join today, remember to go join the private Facebook group so you can get plugged in and love everyone like we do. So have a fantastic day. We will be here tomorrow at 1 p.m. Yep. 1 p.m. Eastern, Rach is doing a fun craft. Um, it's a pop socket craft that you all are very excited about, so make sure you're here. Have a fantastic day, everyone.